covering the JFK event. I am here with Peggy, one of the AP writers. This is uh, really amazing. How did you get involved in this project? And is this your first interview and um, documentary regarding the JFK? It's definitely the first regarding anything to do with assassination. And I think the sixth floor of the museum gave my name to the 72 minutes. And that's how they called me out of the booth, asked if I would be interested in uh, interviewed in some interviews on what had happened way back then, and I said, sure. So you weren't nervous at all about like bringing this back up, or you were kind of excited to, I guess, I just was thought it was interesting that somebody called me out of the blue and asked me to talk about that, because I nobody had ever asked me to talk about that. I mean, I've been interviewed, but, you know, about my life and times, so or covering the women's movement that I did to the AP and other people, but not about the assassination itself, so... And then, um, in terms of like your work, have you seen any of your work? Like, we just saw one of your pieces actually. In the I know, yeah, it's pretty oh. incredible. Well, it was news to me too. You know, I, I've seen, I know the and the guy who's the uh, interviewer, um, the guy we met with earlier, who's taking us around. He reminded me that he had interviewed me 20 years ago for the, for the oral history I did for the Sixth Floor Museum, which I had not seen. He was the one who interviewed me, and uh, he had. Uh, uh, he said that a, a woman who had been the society editor at the Dallas Times Herald had brought me over to them and said I, that they should talk to me, and I did. And she was a really wonderful uh, journalist, and I had done an oral history on women who broke barriers in journalism, so we had interviewed her. You know, as part of her job doing that. So she was, you know, just sort of went along with open doors for each other. Yeah, you definitely you talked a little bit about it on the panel, um, kind of being involved in this as a woman and like yeah. you just said breaking barriers. I yeah. guess how was it during this really like really difficult time and being a woman and getting this stuff? I didn't think about it as being difficult. I, there were a lot of things later that I thought about that where that was an issue. But at that time, I was just the AP reporter, and the AP reporter get, got access by definition, you know, being the AP. And I was very conscious that I had to be there and had to keep going in and stuff to the people back on the desk, keep standing, and keep getting information, you know, from whoever I could get, it, whether it was the cops or the cops or whatever. And are you still writing um, journalism or doing any press uh, regarding the JFK and traveling? No. Or, no. no, I haven't. No, I haven't done anything. I haven't been a reporter for more than 10 years. Uh, I've started, what I've been spending my time on is uh, starting Aging in Place Villages. There are about 350 in the country, and I started one in DuPont Circle Village. And there are 70 in the DuPont, in uh, the D.C. metro area, and I started one in, uh, in DuPont Circle. So that's basically forming a new community for people who are usually 60 and older. We have people in our hundreds, you know, 100 and older. But it's uh, a way to uh, connect with people that you might have something in common with or that you can contribute your skills to as, a, as an organization. And we put on programs. We're going to do a celeb salon, for instance, on this, on the JFK film. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And, um, and it'll be uh, showing the films and then having a discussion about it. And so it's just one of many things we do. And it's, a, it's been interesting, but it's not reporting. It's yes. reporting. It is reporting? Yeah. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Okay. Thank Enjoy. You so much.